seal only in Wellington Wells. Got my eye on you. Right out. Mind the gap, please. If you have more cows. How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact... Ugh. We'll use a bit of help, couldn't we? I, I try not to talk. About.
to the ground, eviscerated. <laughs> I'm just joking. You can never be too careful. All right, then. Simon says, swing left. Simon says, swing right. Simon says, blunt. Simon says, carry. the lads are here. Mustn't let the birds go thinking they can do things by themselves. Oh, this is a lot more satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. Very, very good. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic time. There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. I guess I should talk to the weird sisters again.
Did you say that? Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. But he tore his eyes out, didn't he? Help! Help! Can you help us, love? Our water's gone. I wonder if I could fix this. I don't even have the materials. Mum would probably say this isn't late. like you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. Now I've got to get rid of this poison. I didn't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Did he lock you out? You're here for Rue, I imagine. Rue? Why the hell would I need Rue? She's not... That's an abortifacient. Oh! I'm not pregnant. I can't be. Joy's a contraceptive. The regular kind is. Oh, God. I'm such an idiot. You have a lot to think about. If you keep it... Then we'll help you as much as we can. But you'll need to be very brave, dear. Much braver than if you don't. It's got the mark of a beast. Ah! Get are we?
grandmother, a wise woman. What? The people there. They were wearing these sigils. Oh, Lord. The space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their reverend father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared. All alone in Germany. So she killed them. And I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her. So she killed him too. And she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. Yeah. This is the recipe for... Digital Axe? And something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need Digital Axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented Joy. One day I hope the Goddess will forgive me for that. Arthur's the only one who didn't expect me to be who he wanted. No, Mr. Croker. I expect you to die. You can kill me, but you'll never kill... Peach... He can't, Anne. He'll come back and avenge me. Maybe so, Mr. Croker. Maybe. Thank you. 
I should really think about heading home. I don't actually like long walks. You can have a sea for long stretches at a time. Sailors used to eat nothing but ship's biscuits and salt pork. I could do with some salt pork right now. But if you eat nothing but, you're going to get sick. You see, your body needs vitamin C. But biscuits and salt pork don't have any vitamin C. So sailors and long English voyagers will get sick. And they didn't have joy to make them feel any better either. Well, a lot of Englishmen put their scientific brains to the challenge, and it was soon discovered that fresh vegetables would cure the problem right away. But, how do you get fresh veg on a on board a boat that's not going to dock for months? Well, the Captain James Cook discovered that if he took limes on board, it could cure the sailors. But how do you think, how do you get sailors to drink lime juice? Well, you put it in their rum, don't you? in a bit north. Zealand and Hawaii. You just had a bit of grog and well, you'd be right as English rain. We but only want to help you build a lime or an orange or a lemon in a few years, and well, neither have I. But not to worry. Most fresh meats contain vitamin C too. In fact, they make their own vitamin C. So, 
If you can get some fresh meat at the butcher, you're all set. And if you can't get fresh meat, the most fresh veg contains lots of vitamin C. Now you're going to have to restrain your cooking instincts a bit, because if you boil veg until they're nice and gummy, you'll boil out all the sea. So make sure you eat some of your veg fresh. Ah, can't get fresh veg? Remember, lots of weeds out, contain vitamin C. Scurvy grass is named for stopping scurvy in its tracks. Sorrel has 48 minutes. 48 milligrams of vitamin C for every 100 grams you eat. Chicory has 24. Clover and dandelion are smashing sources of vitamin C. And they're all around us. In fact, I think it's safe to say that just about anything that's green and grows in the ground contains mm. some vitamin C. Oh, in a pinch, you went to the neighbors and asked if they dying terribly if you ate their tulips. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be reasonable. And remember, no matter what, Make sure you're taking that to <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again next time and we'll talk about malaria. It's not nearly as bad as it sounds. Most people survive it. This is Jeff. <laughs> this is Dr. Jack Welling saying my prescription for you is stay well, well, well. You can't hide forever. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, dirty girl. Time to get clean.
idea. and Gretel had cleverly left Mrs. Pencas is a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. if you can't be friendly. You're never gonna get married if you treat men like that. Relations leave something to be desired. Breakfast? Well, it might have been wonderful if it wasn't for evil. And the witch watched Hansel eat, planning how to cook him up. But then Gretel is a hardest.
Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. And her son quickly forgave her, for blood is thicker than water. And the moral of the story is, if you want someone dead, <laughs> do it yourself. <laughs> well, no, that's not actually the moral of the story. This story doesn't have a moral. Good stories never do. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow evening, and I'll tell you the rest of the story. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. You look well. You will take your joy immediately. I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. Come on out of there. Oi! You can't hide from me. I love a game of hide and seek. Right, fix you! No more, Mr. Nice Guy! Clear off! You no rotten wet blanket! Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, have a chance fooling around! I can't cheer you up, alright! <laughs> I'll fix you! We'll have none of that around here. You think you can defy authority? Downer! Disperse! You must disperse! Uh, I won't have it! Uh, Stop! In the name of the law! Uh, 
Keep down up! I won't! Black dog! <laughs> she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide and not in her house. No, I'm not getting fresh with you. I've got stuff you don't even know, you... Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Want. It's late, isn't it, huh? Sorry, mustache. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline.
I could use a bit of money. And I bet What's Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. How can I help you? The old top shelf. I can't.
almost miss going to the reform club. I bet some of them could help. And they never ask awkward questions. Bet I'd have to be naughty nurse again, and I'm just not that. Got anything yummy in you? Mrs. Pankhurst, how have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful, when things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the Reform Club, but my old outfit... Uh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the Reform Club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. I wish I'd learned to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. Afternoon. Mind if I look around? I'm sure. What's your fancy? Oh, it's been too long. Have you got my chemical bag? 
Let's spend my money, shall we? See you later. There you go. Careful with your uh chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the back. Yes, of course. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. I got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh no. Oh, I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just... Should clear up soon, I imagine. Not today, I'm afraid. Can you believe I blew it all on these boots? Well, look at you. Oh, God. My feet are killing me.